Well, I think, um, I think what's important is that throughout the entire film, she's trying to find a family that she can, that she can actively participate in and feel like she has a purpose. And I think that's what these people provided for her, that she wasn't getting at home. And that's why, you know, certain lines come out at the lake house with her sister, where she, she tries to assert herself as someone who's very capable and she doesn't think anyone's ever treated her like that before. Um, and so that's, that's what I think was, was the most positive aspect about the farm for her. And people to really love her and a, and a big family to take care of her. That's what I think is special about her and that's why it's her story because there's still something innately morally different um, than everyone else at this at this place and so as much as she wishes that these were the people that she fit in best with and that these are the people who loved her and took care of her um, there's something deeply seated in her that knows something happened that wasn't right so that's that's why she's the only one to make an active change Um, it's just the changing of environment. She's used to living one way for, you know, a year, two years, however long it's, it, it is. And, um, and so it's just a different environment. And when you live on a farm for that long and you are trying to eat what you make and, um, what you grow and then, and then all of a sudden you're in this huge house with extra rooms you don't really need and, um, it's, it's just more quiet and cold and she's not surrounded by people all the time like she's used to. And that's what was most interesting to me is that she, she had so many people surrounded, surrounding her at the farmhouse and she moved back in with her sister. It's just open space and being alone, like more so than ever at a time when she, where she, where she really can't be alone. Um, and, I, and someone at a Q&A recently was talking about um, like physicality within the film. And it's not something you really think about, like, oh, she should probably do this, this, and this, and that would ex that would physically express these things to an audience. But um, now, and after they said that, I, I started to think, like, yeah, she's like in the fetal position a lot, like trying to always hold like a pillow or being in bed, holding herself because she's always trying to find a comfort that she didn't, that she that she was missing from the cult or the farmhouse. Do you ever have that feeling if something's a dream or if something's a memory for something you dreamed? It's just, I just think that's a really interesting line because I feel like that just happens a lot. I don't know. And I think it's, I think it's a great line for the film as a whole almost, for the, the stylistic um, way to describe the film. And, and I think that's why this film's really special actually because of the ambiguity that people get to discover for themselves. Well, John's, um, he's a really warm, kind person and really giving and helpful. And you always feel safe in his presence. And he's not someone who carries his character with him when you're just hanging out, which is good for me because just fearing him as an actress or some or a friend isn't, wouldn't be helpful in this situation because she's supposed to feel comfort with him. And um, so he was just, we were always just very respectful and he he would just you know make sure that everything was that I was okay and I, I was kind of game for everything and um I just we both the way John and I both I think approach things is just whatever tells the story better um and so you just you develop a communication between the two of you that could further that So Martha, the character, offered me a lot of amazing challenges to, to just be able to work on, on someone's psychology that you don't really get to work on. I mean, it's it's so far out of myself that it was fun to be able to escape into her mind, um, and it was actually fun, which is weird, but it was fun, and um, the whole film process was amazing. 
it's not even just the film process that I've learned from, but it's this whole other part after we made the movie that I've never gone through with trying to sell a movie and promote it and um, what you have to do for that. And so this whole entire experience has been one learning thing after another. And also, I developed amazing relationships with all of these guys who made the movie afterwards. And so that was important. Um, so it offered me like a whole new family to work with and... Um, and trying to understand the business a little bit more on this side of trying to promote an independent film. Yeah, we um, we were in these motels that were we had no internet service. Um, we had cell service in like one area that everyone would like walk around in circles within like five feet, and um, and so all we had to do is just become family and friends with each other and we just had a blast we had so much fun and then it made that part of living more comfortable on set to do things that were vulnerable that were difficult to shoot because you end up trusting all these people around you and feeling comfortable um with them being in a room when you have to do something that's really difficult but you know you had their support so it was it all it all helped and um contributed to a really positive and creative working environment thing is is I don't I I never really approached it or read it as a movie that had lots of statements about modern day cults personally um I thought of it from the point of view as of someone who experienced trauma and what they go through after that um so the but the, as from the film as a whole though what I find most compelling is that I, I truly believe it's a unique and original composition um, of storytelling. And I think the way Sean wrote um, and edited the film is this amazing puzzle that I think gets more interesting the second time you watch the movie, personally. People who have seen it now twice are always saying, like, it feels like a different movie. Did you guys change it? We're like, no. And they're like, because it feels, it, 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 instead of watching performances only or something, they can sit back and try and fix, figure out all the different pieces together because it really, there are lots of things hidden throughout the film that like, I love picking up on and being like, oh, I didn't realize Sean did that, that's so brilliant. But we can't really talk about it because I want other people to have those experiences also. So that's what's so great about the film is that you can just keep going back and discovering all these things that help lead to this answer that you know may never be answered at the end, but it, it all is part of it.